everybody, it's Sal here with an, with another video. Uh, this one is for the XBM, XBMC users on Apple TV 2. Now, um, for probably there, there are some people out there that uh, have installed, um, have, that have jailbroken their Apple TV to install, obviously to install XBMC, but um, the old version of XBMC, which is I mean, and depending how long ago you did it, I mean, I, I have a, 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 a version of probably 11 or 12, something like that, on my uh, current uh, Apple TV 2. And right now, you can get up uh, version 13 of XBMC on there, on your Apple TV 2. But uh, there may be some of you out there that don't know how to, you know, upgrade. And uh, there, there's two ways you can do it. The first way is to uh, actually use the terminal line. And, and uh, you know, if you jailbroken your Apple TV, you, you know, those of you will be familiar with going through terminal and SSHing into their uh, um, Apple TV and then manually copying, pasting uh, command lines to get their Apple TV updated. I'm going to show you another way that you can do this on your own. Uh, hopefully this will work for, for some of you. Um, um, well, it should work for all of you, uh, depending uh, how your Apple TV was jailbroken. Um, I'm assuming they were all broken, jailbroken the same way. But, uh, I mean, I assume no responsibility if anything goes wrong. So uh, you're going to need a, a piece of software called Neato Installer. It's free, and I'll have a link in the video description that will get you to there, okay? And um, if you notice that there's a, a little skull icon on my desktop that is the need to installer and when you uh, click on it to uh, to launch the program um, it looks like this all right um, now you can now I have two Apple TVs on the network and I've actually labeled them so the one in the family room is labeled family room Apple TV and the one I'm going to be upgrading is just called Apple TV I haven't named it or anything um, now you can also see the bottom uh, left hand corner you've got the IP address so you can confirm what Apple TV you're using okay now this tutorial is for people that already have XBMC already installed and they just want to upgrade okay so I just want to remind you about that and as you can see there's three buttons here install XBMC upgrade XBMC and remove XBMC obviously if you've just jailbroken your your Apple TV you could use this application to install XBMC for what we're gonna do in this video we're gonna be simply upgrading Apple TV um, and it's the simplest thing it liter literally is a push of a button and now there's also the uh, remove XBMC application, which I've had to use actually on uh, Apple TV too, where I got the error uh, dependencies not met, and I couldn't install any. I couldn't install uh, plugins. I couldn't upgrade plugins. Um, plugins that were that were already installed were working, but I couldn't. I just couldn't do anything. I couldn't add anything new. I couldn't remove any. Like it was just messed up um, and in that case in order, in order, I had to resolve it by removing XBMC and all the folders in there um, I didn't use the application I used the command I used the command line uh, just to clean up all the files make sure I didn't miss anything and then I reinstalled XBMC I didn't want to go through the trouble of jailbreaking the Apple TV uh, all over again uh, you can you can just remove XBMC reinstall it again and that and uh, the dependencies now the dependencies I believe are just files that are part of XBMC so once you re once you reinstall XBMC as a whole you will get the dependencies uh, installed as well with it and that got everything working but anyways let's get to the task at hand um, on here's the menu for my Apple TV and uh, as you can see there's the old logo there and just to confirm um, we're going to be just we're going to open up XBMC and we have version 12.2. I just wanted to confirm what version I had, okay? And uh, we're going to we're going to exit out of there. Um, as you can see I'm using the uh, custom wizard edition which is a, a really great really great tool um, for installing all the popular plugins I tell you it's a great tool to use um, and if anyone needs a tutorial on that feel free to uh, bug me uh, I believe I have a video on installing the XBMC, the XBMC hub wizard um, if, if you just search my <laughs> search my back catalog of videos you'll find it there so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go back to the main window the main uh, Apple TV uh, uh, menu and we're simply just gonna click a button and get XBMC upgraded 
So we're at the menu, and now we're going to go to our application, our, our Neato installer for Apple TV, and we are going to upgrade. And that's it. So it's going to take some time, a minute or two, because it's actually downloading the application and installing it, but you don't see any of that. You don't see any prompts. You don't see anything. You're just going to see the spinning wheel. And um, I have I have done this before. Uh, actually, I've done it, I think, three times now. Um, on, and this is my fourth time doing it. Uh, all on different, all on different uh, Apple IIs, Apple TV IIs. So, so this method does work um, beautifully. Now, in case this takes a little bit long, we are, I am going to cut this video. So, uh, uh, you know, if you feel that something is wrong or anything like that, don't fret. Just let the application do its thing. If it takes, uh, you know, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, just let it do this. Let it do its thing because it is downloading uh, XBMC. Uh, and then installing it, uh, effectively upgrading the version you have on your Apple TV. So um, if if this doesn't if if your ins if your upgrade takes longer than what's going on in the video, it's because I probably it's because uh, I shortened the video because it's taking way too long for people just to stare uh, at this screen. And okay, so once the upgrade has completed, your Apple TV is going to reboot. Screen's going to go black. Okay, and um, it's just going to restart, and we should see a um, a new XBMC logo. There's our version 13 logo. There it is right there, and let's run it. I mean, clearly it's the new version. Oh, hold on a second. Let's see what's happening here. We have operating system uh, 13.0. Um, I believe that is XBMC 13 um, that, that we're watching. So the splash screen, uh, yeah. Take a look at the bottom right, XBMC 13.1. So we are running the 13. Pay no attention to the splash screen. Um, but uh, I know I had version 12 on there before, uh, most definitely. Um, and now I got version 13, uh, as we can see there. So that's how you do it. Um, that's how you upgrade your XBMC. Uh, most of your plugins should work. There may be there may be a few plugins that don't work, but uh, the popular popular ones like. Uh, um, uh, ice films uh, one channel those work uh, and I think those are the most important ones if you have some that don't work make sure you check the uh, the person you know the, the, the developer website that created the plugin make sure that they uh, they've tested and 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 uh, have given the okay that it works on the new version of XBMC version 13 all right folks so that's how you do it a click of a mouse button a few a couple uh, a couple minutes and uh, you've upgraded your XBMC the simplest way to do that okay of course i forgot to mention uh, make sure your Mac, this only works if your computer and your Apple TV are on the same network. Okay, I forgot to mention that in the beginning, I apologize. But uh, they have to be on, on the same network, um, which is by default. I mean, if you got them both on running off Wi-Fi or wired or whatever, mo most likely they will be on the, on the same network. Uh, on the same network and uh, you can you can use this little application all the links will be found in the description I will accompany uh, this video with a blog post um, you know in case uh, I have any more information that um, I didn't provide through this video but hopefully uh, this works out for you if, if you found this useful please give it a thumbs up uh, if you like my videos uh, please subscribe um, I really you know really appreciate people subscribing watching and liking these videos um, I really like putting them together and uh, you know putting in the time uh, to do them. So folks, uh, you know, uh, enjoy, enjoy your XBMC. And as always, ciao for now.